People, people, people. Presets are a thing of the past. Profiles are a thing of the future. Let me show you how to convert your presets into profiles and use them in Lightroom Classic. So guys, a while ago while I was editing, I stumbled upon a video and it talked about these things called profiles. And what profiles are is pretty much a filter that you put over your photo. It doesn't actually affect any of your settings on Lightroom. It'll only affect the photo itself. And the beauty of the profiles is that you can increase the intensity or decrease the intensity. So I was hooked and I wanted to figure out how to change your presets into profiles and I figured out the method and I'm going to share this with you guys here today. So let me walk you through how to convert your presets into profiles and start using them. This is going to completely change everyone's workflow because it's just amazing how effective it can be. And last thing, it also, it doesn't add anything to your slider. So once you add this filter on, it's like you're getting your preset and then you also have the ability to adjust your sliders even more if you want to get that super intense effect. So let's hop in the computer. Let me show you how to do this. So you're going to want to start with Photoshop. You're going to need Photoshop to do this and you're going to need camera raw specifically. You're just going to want to open one of your raw photos any raw photo that you have. It doesn't matter what photo you're going to be using here. This is just to create the profiles themselves. This is going to pop up. Honestly, I've never used camera raw before. I never really use it when I was doing my editing. Maybe some of you guys are more familiar with it. But if you come here to uh, the preset slider, this is where you can add all the presets that you already own. So I'm just going to come down here to all my user presets. Some of them are duplicated. I'm not sure because some of them are other people's presets and somehow they got duplicated. I'm just going to use my preset called Kono. That's pretty much all you have to do. Apply your preset to your photo in camera raw. Now you're going to come down here and you you want to make sure you're still in the presets uh you know tab come down here it's going to say new preset don't press new preset i want you to press alt or command on a map and then press it and this will pop up a secret menu profile menu now here super easy you can name it i'd probably just name it the exact same thing that you called your preset unless you want to change the name and then you can choose where you want it to go user pro user profiles profiles or a new group i'm just gonna go with your user profiles this i you don't have to touch any of this just leave it how it is and then just press okay Bang, there you go. Now you can close this. I'm just gonna say cancel, close that. And now you're gonna come into your Lightroom. You actually have to close and reopen Lightroom. Mine was already open, so I'm just gonna quickly close and reopen it. Because if you had Lightroom open, it won't install the presets. It only installs them on opening. I don't know exactly how it works. Bang, so I got Lightroom open now, easy stuff. Choose a photo that you wanna edit. Let's say, you know, this is a photo of my friend Cam here. I'm gonna reset all the settings. This is the original photo. I might make a quick adjustment just to exposure to make it a little more exposed. Now, if you come here, right in the basic module, this is where you're gonna find your profiles. Profile is gonna be Adobe neutral right now. Now, it's gonna show you a couple options but you're gonna to want to go into browse to get more options here you're gonna see you know favorites that you can favorite uh, I don't know why these ones are all favorited you can unfavor them if you don't want them Adobe raw camera matching artistic black and white all this stuff then user profiles at the bottom you're gonna see it and this is where you're gonna be able to find your thing so for example here Kono there my preset has my profile now preset has been applied you can just come out of here by closing it at the top here and then at the top here you'll see a slider the amount slider this is where you can either add more Kono or add less Kono this is the beauty of them. You can change this to how much you want it to be applying. Right now, I think it's a little too intense, so I'm gonna drop it. But let's say I just wanna bring up those shadows a bit. I can add shadows, and as you can see, Kono has made an edit to the photo, but it hasn't changed any of my sliders. All my sliders are still at basic, except uh, lens distortion, because that's an automatic thing I have set up. But all my sliders are at zero. So right now, I'm able to play with the with the preset, how much I want to apply. Unlike when you apply presets, it's kind of hard to, to drop the intensity of that preset, which is the beauty of this. This is going to completely change how I edit photos myself. All you got to do is just go on camera raw here, take one photo and just transfer all your presets over one at a time. Just keep saving them and saving them. And then once you're good, you got them all here. You can edit photos super quickly because now you can just throw on a preset and you don't have to actually really make any adjustments. All you have to do is increase or decrease the preset. So question of the day for you guys. Did you know about this? I didn't know about this before, you know, a couple months ago and now I'm using it all the time. So let me know in the comments below if you knew about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something. If you guys learned something, leave a like below. Don't forget to subscribe i got new videos coming out every single week and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time i drop a new video creators keep creating peace